Rock Bottom Coins are the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, Bucks here. So, it's back for that long-wanted theme team ranking. As you see, this isn't this year's. This is Madden. Uh, let me see if I can drag it. 20. 20 theme team rankings. So I just want to give a little brief history. I think I've been doing it, uh, I don't know if I started in 20 or a little bit before that, but I've been tracking this on this one spreadsheet since 20. Um, and then, as you see, there's some, some consistent names near the top. 49ers, Raiders, Ravens, you see, will uh, pop up. Chiefs, obviously. So when a team gets to the Super Bowl, frequently, they are near the top of the rankings, especially um, where it is. We ended up doing tier rankings some years before. This is Matt in 21. Um, Madden 22, we had the Giants up top for a little bit, if you guys recall. Uh, they had some really good rosters there. Then obviously the, the consistent Raiders, sometimes Buccaneers near the top, you know. Again, championship teams, uh, the next year had pretty good rankings, December 30th. We then had it February, we had the Rams after their Super Bowl, ended up being number one. So, Madden 23, we've done it twice, we're going to do it once more. You see right there, 2-5-23 today. We've had the Raiders, the Titans early on, Niners, Ravens, Bills were all good, Rams, Patriots. So overall, EA's done a pretty crap job of balancing theme teams over the year. It's always Ravens, Raiders, Niners, um, and then a couple others up there. But those are really like the main three that we see near the top. So let's see if they maintain their ranking right now or if they go away. Now I'm going to try and get this... Um, Done as quick as possible. It's been like, you know, hopefully less than a minute per team, but let's just go ahead and go through it. I was just looking at uh, different theme teams here. Anyways, all right. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? All right. The worst team on the list, right? The worst team on the list is the Browns. The Browns are awful, okay? Like, I think theme teams are pretty good overall. Uh, they got no tight end. The receivers are very mid-tier, below-tier. Their quarterbacks are okay at best. Chubb should be higher overall. Defense, they have some major holes there in the secondary. And uh, they got, I guess, I guess they got a pass rush uh, with, with, with Clowney and maybe uh, another guy or two in there. Be all right for him. But uh, they're, they're last on my list. I, I think the Browns are awful, okay? So, next up on the list, second to worst. Strange that it's a... Uh, TJ's favorite team is he's, you know, in charge of GMM, right? And uh, every single card drop possible, so yell at him when your team doesn't get cards. Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons here. They got a decent tight end there. Offensive line leaves a little bit to be cited in the middle, uh, but solid exteriors. Drake London's phenomenal. Julio's a little long in the tooth. He might get an AKA. I know a lot of people want him to. Uh, Dickerson's a very good running back. Matty Ice, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. So they got some pieces, right? I don't think any of these theme teams are like, awful awful but uh, on defense i feel like they're they're a little long in the tooth some of these cards and not really catching up not really like we'll be competing with the god squad meta theme teams unless you know you're just straight up better than them scheme wise out there all right next up the vikings the vikings are the third worst theme team in the game um let's go ahead and take a look at their cards got a nice offensive line you know a few 87s hawkinson's a good tight end don't get me wrong Moss should be getting a new card. Osborne's underrated. Wallace is okay. Jeff, I'd probably start Justin Jefferson over Wallace or Moss right there. Um, Cordell Patterson's good. Same with Delvin Cook. But uh, not really like, you know, when some cards are like auto-breaking every first tackle, how are you going to do with a good running back, right? Um, their secondary, yeah, it's just not good enough. I think, you know, Pat Pete always seems to play well, but their defense is one of the worst defenses in the entire game. Uh, which actually tracks with IRL Vikings. They played really bad defense this year. Whoops, Dolphins right there. I made a little mistake. Um, accidentally dragged them up. Dolphins are 29th in my opinion. The Dolphins theme team is um, okay. They got some pieces. Offensive line looks okay. Um, their pieces, Keith Byers, really nice. Cheetah, incredible. Like top three receiver in the game. Waddle's fast, but, you know, that's a blitz card, so that's months old. Um, then we have uh, Rowe is kind of terrible. I guess you go Minka over that strong safety. Sammy Knight's a good free safety. Linebacker's nothing really there. They got Wilkins, I guess, um, as like a, a run stopper. Their, their DBs, their cornerbacks are awful too, so that's a really bad squad. A lot of these squads are pretty pathetic here around this area. Um, 
28 is Panthers. Panthers, I guess, are they like a Stars and Scrubs squad? They got some really nice cards, like, um... Oh, never mind, their offense is terrible. It was their defense I was thinking about. Thomas Davis, insane. Peppers, still, I think he's the best free safety, best DB in the entire game. Um, uh, Rasul Douglas played well for me. I like Gilly Locke. Eli Apple is Eli Apple, so the best, th best thing you can do is trash talk your opponents. Uh, Kevin Green's a really good rusher, so a lot of holes on the Panthers too, but they got some really nice defenders, some top of the meta defenders on that defense. The issue is they don't have much to surround them with. All right, Bears at 27. Um, and I can see you putting Panthers low on list even too, but it, it, you know, a lot of these teams are pretty similar. You're going to get the, very frustrated by going against guys with like God squad and stuff. Bears theme team right here. Ovens line okay. Mike Dick uh, a little long in the tooth, a little old. Um, Allen Robinson's a good receiver. Marshall should be getting an upgrade. Patterson's fine. Same with Damian. Patterson maybe a little bit better than Damian. I like his ability mix. Cutler. Cutler's underrated, but a 93 overall quarterback right now. William Perry is like so heavy, so good for short distances. Uh, but a 93 overall right now doesn't have the best ability mix versus what we currently have. Again, I talk about Peppers. Uh, Patterson, uh, yeah, in the defense, you really only have uh, Tracy Porter as far as a standout defender on the Bears. All right, next up, Texans. Texans actually surprised me. They were a little bit better than I thought they were going to be based off, um, uh, you know, it's the Texans and having the number two overall pick this next year. But Owen Daniels coming out really helps out the offense. That's guy, that guy's a stud. Stud-coated stud with stud filling. Cobb, Johnson, Cooks are great receivers. Fitzpatrick's okay. The running back is is a negative um, right there. It's just not good enough. But they got Ed Reed, Honey Badger. So I'd probably use Honey Badger at like CB2 or, or move like, you know, one of their one of their safeties to CB2. And then like user Ed Reed, you can leave him over top. Justin Reed's a great user too. Clowney's a good pass rusher. So they got a, like a solid overall defense and offense. I actually like thought the Texans were a little bit better um, going into this than I, than I expected them. Another one that's a little bit better than I expected, and I could see the Texans even be ranked a little higher on this list. I'm going to go Lions right there um, at, what number was that, 25? Lions are stars and scrubs. Offense line is okay. They do have Herman Moore, one of the best receivers in the game. Megatron still holds up on the game team. Their quarterback really holds them back. Their quarterback really holds them back. Now, Cole Pepper was good for his time, but no longer. Barry Sanders, again, good for his time, but no longer. Um, Hawkinson's still good. The defense there, um, they got Megatron, one of my favorite. This that's my starting strong safety right now on the Legends theme team. Slay and Train are okay. Um, their pass rush is a little tragic. So, stars and scrubs. Some stars at some important positions, but scrubs on equally important ones. So I can see the Texans actually being higher than the Lions, but uh, overall they're pretty similar um, as far as power level. Neither one of them are. You know, overwhelming. But I think I might like the Texans actually better. I might I might switch that around. Anyway, Steelers. Horrendous offensive line outside of Fanica. Fryamuth is just not good enough at tight end. Great receivers, right? Like, we got a ton of great receivers to the Steelers theme team this year. Judas Smith-Schuster, Shuri. Like, none of these guys. Like, I guess Plax, you can be considered meta. Um, these guys aren't really. Um, so, one meta receiver and then really good compliments right there. Bettis. Probably the third best back in the game and the best third down back in the game because a free short in. Vic is, Vic is not it right now uh, versus what we have. Defense, don't really have a great user and free safety combo. And the cornerbacks are awful. Hilton and Witherspoon are just not good enough right now. But we do have um, a great pass rush. Great four pass rushers. Hargrave, Mean Joe, Kevin Green, and Alex Highsmith or TJ Watt. So... Our defensive line, whoever four you put down there, or some people just run 3D linemen that do dollar, so basically it's it's useless. But in a four-man rush, the Steelers have a great four-man. So it's, it's just their secondary is awful, and so is their, their tight end slash quarterback and offensive line. So maybe I rank the Steelers too high, but we'll just call that a little bit of bias. All right. Next up on the list, 23, Bengals. Bengals, Bengals, Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals on this list, uh, good off, actually probably a great, I'll say a, a extremely good offensive line, right? Only one guy under 90 overall. So incredible offensive line, terrible tight end, and then the receiving core is a little long. I like Ocho Cinco, and he was, when he was, when he first came out for those those weeks, months, the, the, the dude was crazy. Dude was really good. Um, Mixon's not good. 
Uh, Josh Johnson's fine though as a center, uh, as a quarterback. Their defense, darn, 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 darn. They got good defense alignment. It's it's kind of similar to the Steelers. You don't like their DBs. Outside, well, Von Bell's really good. Um, like not like extraordinary. He's not like super tall or anything. Um, and they got a good interior with uh, DJ Reader, but yeah, a lot of holes in the Bengals. If anything, maybe they're a couple places too high. I don't know. Would you put the Texans above them? It's that's a tough one. Bengals are Bengals. I feel like are just like okay everywhere, right? They're like just like a a, a jack of all trades type of squad. All right, number twenty two, the Rams. The Rams is. Again, jack of all trades everywhere. Their offensive line is good, except for a uh, left tackle. You can throw a Havenstein over there, though. Um, they got good good receivers, though. That Cooper Cup was, was on a lot of teams for a long time. Bettis, uh, like third best running back in the game. Kurt Warner, Baker Mayfield, they're fine. Um, then their defense has got some okay pieces. They got a pass rush, I guess. They got a really good pass rush. And and corners. Maybe I just hate their, their, their safeties on this team. Just their safeties, tight end. And uh, that's kind of it. Rams were okay otherwise. Number 21, the Chargers. The Chargers, Chargers, Chargers. On this list, Los Angeles Chargers, theme team. Offensive line, okay. Parham is still a glitch. He's, he's still high points to him. It's crazy good. Um, Stevie Johnson's okay. Not that great anymore. Williams is great. Austin Eckler is great. Tomlinson, you can put him at like wide receiver three if you want. Well, I think is a one AP short in. Juno Smith's, he's he punches above his weight, but he's just not meta. I think that's one of the reasons why I had the Chiefs down is their quarterback situation is so bad. Whereas their defense is incredible, right? Defense incredible, but man, that quarterback really sunk them in my rating. So that's where the Chargers. Herbert should get a high card. The problem with Herbert is his, his release is awful. Um, Colts is up next. Colts, 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 Colts. How are the Colts looking? Um, uh, not great tackles, which are the most important spot on the offense line. Terrible tight end. Good, good, good receivers, though. I really like those receivers. Really good. Matty Ice, one of the top quarterbacks in the game. Defense is really nice. Ted Hendricks, a solid defender. And then Cromartie and Gilly Lock in the outside is beautiful, along with Buckner in the middle. Houston pass rushing. And... Uh, who would be my other pass rusher here? I guess it would be Mario Addison. He would just fine. Alright, anyways, that's Colts. Next up. Titans. Titans, Titans, Titans. We gotta remember them Titans. Alright. Titans. Offensive line. Really nice. Jimmy Giles. A little out of the meta. Delaney Walker. Solid run blocker. Andre. AJ. Good receivers. Moss is still usable. Dude, the Titans are absolutely carried by Henry. Like, you're like, oh, Fitzpatrick's a whatever quarterback, right? But, dude, King Henry is literally a glitch at running back. And you got, like, Murray and Campbell, too. You can split out one at, like, wide receiver if you so want. And then, like, audible down the I forms. King Henry's literally, like, just insane. He's either the best at back or tied for the best with quad father in the game. The problem with the Titans is their defense, right? Your number two is a 92 overall CB. Your, your DBs, I guess you'd put Derrick Henry at strong safety. Bayard there, then who are you going to use her? And who are you going to call? So the Titans really suffer on defense. The only reason they're this high is literally just Derrick Henry. Otherwise, if it weren't for Derrick Henry and that Titans squad, they would be, I don't know, six places down maybe. Seahawks. That's what happens when you have a meta warping card. It's just silly overpowered. Um, the Seahawks. Offensive line, eh. Mets the Lars, eh. They got 292s, eh. I like the receiving. Baldwin, Metcalf, fine. Russell Wilson, a lot of people love Russell. I don't I don't like his throw motion. I would. I think I'd use Gunsling on him instead of Fearless. But without Fearless, man, it's so hard. Good running backs, right? Some A solid core right there. And then they have Prez, Cam Chancellor, Quandre. who's a little short, to be fair. Sherman's incredible. Tariq's great. Griffin, I'd probably move Tariq to number two, and then Griffin to number three, so I'd have a height on the outside. They got Randall Adams, Clowney, ooh, 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 ooh. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I, I really do like the Seahawks. And I know a lot of people are talking to me about, like, they'll say in the comments, 
yo, what about they, they, they fill the whole tight end with, with Gronk? But, like, that's not the whole point of this. This is, like, pure theme teams. A lot of these theme teams get a lot of holes filled really easily with the guys that get every single uh, team chem, sure. But that's not the point. That's not the point. That's not what we're doing. We're doing pure theme teams here. And, obviously, you can always replace, like, <clears throat> a bad center. <clears throat> like Shatley. With, a, with, with, like, the best center in the game. Then you think he gets a lot better. But that's not really the exercise. Brunel, I love this card. He's just a lefty. He's the only downside. If you can u get used to a lefty, I'd go Brunel. Uh, I love Kurt. I love Robinson. Agnew. Um, a, a teen is fine. It's, I'll say below average running back versus the rest. But the, the Jacksonville, they got some decent defenders here. I actually haven't hated Jacksonville's defense. Sammy Knight, Jenkins. Like, I guess the only thing you'd say is, like, do you then use your user Rudy Ford? Um, but overall, pass rusher, Allen, good CBs. Maybe Jacksonville's a little high, but I just... I don't know. There's something to be said about having a top-tier quarterback and good receivers to throw the ball to. Not like... I mean, I wouldn't say they're the, like not top three in the game receivers, but would you say they're top 10 to 15 plus the theme team probably boost them up into the fives? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jaguars are too high on this list. But I actually kind of liked what I looked at right there on them. Um, commanders here on the theme team. All right. The Washington Commanders. No tight end. Offensive line's okay. Really good. Eh. Pretty good still. Johnson, and then I'd probably just do Brunel over uh, Johnson. Sean Alexander is really good right there, too. Defense, Thomas Davis. Sean Taylor, you can use her or throw at strong safety if you'd rather use her. Somebody like uh, these two, which I don't know why you would. Carl Banks, maybe. But yeah, pass rush. Your front four is good. Chase Young, Bruce Smith, Montez, Payne. Then you got Porter and Bailey on the outside with Deion Sanders in the slot. That's a great defense. So, Washington gets that slot at number 16. All right, so now we're starting to get in a little bit more complete theme teams. Actually, no, it's going to be a little bit before we get to the quote-unquote complete theme teams. I still think there's holes on teams like the uh, Broncos. The big Broncos' big hole is obviously receiver, right? They don't have good receivers, but they have greatness elsewhere. You can choose Flacco or Wilson. Flacco, a lot of people are saying, is the number one quarterback in the game right now. So having the number one quarterback is a huge leg up. Davis, you see a lot of people run with Terrell Davis. They freaking love a lot of comp dudes run with him. Um, a lot because, you know, Quad Father and, and King Henry are banned in, in the tournaments. But offensive line, your guards are terrible. I guess you move Connor McGovern to left guard. But your defense, ooh, baby, this defense. You could use your Atwater, Kareem, John Lynch. You got pass rushers for days. Your, your CBs are studly too. So this defense is suffocating. The only downside is your offense is going to be struggle to get an open against man coverage. Um, so that's that's the one downside if you try and pass the ball. The Broncos don't have the receiver. So not quite a complete theme team yet. And receivers are very important. So that's a tough one. To, that's a tough position to have a, a bad spot on. But once 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 you get like a Brandon Marshall upgrade, that Broncos theme team like boosts in the top 10 easy. Uh, if not top five with a better receiver. All right. Ertz. Hopkins, I like the Cardinals. Kurt Warner is, a, uh, I'd say, solid, not top 10, but like their defense is pretty sexy there with Honey Badger. Adrian Wilson's like a big hitter still. Suggs, a good pass rusher. Uh, Milkman, Dockett. So yeah, your front four is dominating. And I, I think your your CBs are good enough to hang with the best. Like Cromartie is still run in a lot of top end squads without the theme team boost. With the theme team boost, even sexier. So overall, a very nice defense, especially if you run like the man coverage. With some of them speeds like Cromartie. I don't know. They might have, you might lack a couple cards there. But overall, I like the well-balanced aspect of the offense defense. Only downside of the Cardinals, again, is the holes on offensive line. So that's really where the Cardinals are faltering at. All right. Next up. So we're not, we haven't quite got to the complete teams yet. So we're still going with teams with uh, holes. Giants here at 13. The New York Giants... Um, your tight end ain't great. Your offensive line is pretty good. I would say it's it's probably one of the better offensive lines we've seen for sure. Um, you got good receivers too. Moore, Hodgins, Plaxico, three like quote unquote meta guys. Barkley maybe a little bit under the power curve right now. Warner, Jones, you can pick your poison between the two of the 96 overalls. Neither one of them, neither one of them has like, you know, 
that thing that we want. It's not like 99 Tom Brady or anything or, or that uh, Flacco Slinger one, but pretty good. And then the defense, right? Sammy Knight, great. Pass rush, great. Lawrence Taylor is probably going to get an upgraded card at some point here in 97s or 99s. Uh, Dane Belton's okay. So you're still missing some like DBs. Eli Apple's your number one cornerback, but your front four is is pretty nice, I'd say, overall. So some top tier, and, and the reason why I, I love the receiving core, so you can definitely get separation man coverage of those guys, but overall still a few holes for the Giants. The Raiders, the Raiders have one major hole. Otherwise, the Raiders would be much higher. The only reason the Raiders aren't in like the top tier, like top seven, is quarterback. All right? Quarterback, their offense is, is I feel like, mid-tier. Their offense is definitely mid-tier for what we've seen so far. But their defense... <laughs> oh, man. This is probably the best defense right now of theme teams. It'd be tough to get better than this defense as far as, like, anything that you can run. As far as a theme team. But their offense is... Their offense is the reason why they are number 12 instead of any higher. All right, number 11, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. So we're starting to get a little bit more balanced, of course, overall. Jets, offensive line's good. Tight end sucks. The receivers are meh at best. Byers is incredible. Tomlinson, i probably put, probably split him out wide with short end, although Monk's pretty with short end. Best quarterback in the game is, is the argument there for Flacco. Um, I'm not sure I agree with that. I haven't really used him yet. But defense on the Jets right there with the Raiders as far as some of the best I might like the Raiders pass rush a little bit better but uh, the Jets DBs are just insane and then Sauce should be getting like an honors card right if he gets rookie of the year yeah Ronnie Prez oh my gosh so yeah Jets pretty good pretty 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 good uh, with, with a few holes still though alright next up Buffalo Bills on the list. What are you at? Problem. Dawson Knox is just okay. Metzlar is a solid blocker. Offense line is, is good too. Uh, right tackle is your major W uh, TF. But I love Andre. Gabriel Davis. Maybe they screwed him a little bit on speed. I will agree with you there. Naeem Hines is top tier. Bledsoe. I wouldn't put him in the top tier, but he's okay. Um, and then defense. You don't have maybe like the Raiders or the Jets defense, but it definitely competes up there um, with them as far as across the board talent. Maybe just a little bit less talented, but I like their offense a little bit better. At least the receiving core and whatnot. All right. Ravens lowest ranking this year, right? Number one and number four. Now they're down to number nine. So the Ravens, this is another team a lot like the Broncos. Their major hole is wide receiver. But the wide receivers aren't terrible. Like, free short in on Steve Smith is okay. Wallace is still fine. Halfback's terrible. Quarterback, like I said, maybe even number one in the game. So, Ravens team team just got blessed like crazy with that. You do have Owen Daniels and Waller and Andrews. Owen Daniels is right there with, well, probably a little bit worse than Gronk. But outside of Gronk, best tight end in the game. Offensive line is really good right there. Defense. Again, defense for the Ravens. Oof. Pass rush, JPP, Suggs, Sam Adams. Sir Goosen might be getting an upgraded card here. Lewis is phenomenal uh, if you do use your linebacker. Otherwise, Reed and Elliott, maybe a little long in the tooth. We'll say that. Maybe. That's the one question is strong safety on the Ravens theme team. Uh, but otherwise, it's just your receivers holding you back. But, man, that is, a, that is a beautiful squad. Otherwise, Cowboys. Now we're getting to a little bit more complete theme teams here. The Cowboys, the Cowboys, the Cowboys. I'd say complete as they have solid players at every position. I would move Zach Martin over here to left guard, obviously. Then your offensive line is is at minimum 92 across the board. Dicka is a question mark. But the rest of this team, phenomenal. Murray, yeah, sure. He's not Quadzilla. He's not Byers. He's not any of those guys. He's more than capable, though. I like the way he ran when I used him. Cunningham, I guess, is a question mark or Bledsoe. But they're still good. I mean, yeah, they're not Flacco or, or Tom Brady. They're still good, though. And then you have, like, 94s that play up. Your pass rush, DeMarcus Ware. Um, I guess Ed Tutal Jones, 92, isn't there. But you got Carmichael, Dion, Bland, Diggs at fourth corner. Cowboys theme team, 
very complete. Curse, you could use your hand. I guess he's tall, but maybe a little slow right now. All right, next up, we got the Saints. The Saints are next on the list for me. Due to their, it's mostly their overwhelming defense. Taysom Hill, one of the best tight ends in the game still for free short and offensive line is is good. Uh, not It's not Cowboys offense line. I love the receiving core. Brunel, Slinger one, arguably up there with one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Earl Campbell ran really hell. The problem is there's so many good running backs right now, so we kind of like blended in. Um, love Knight, Honey Badger there. You can use her. Von Bell, whatever. Your, the choice is yours. Quan, I guess. I don't know if I love Quan though. Uh, McAllister and Porter on the outside is incredible. Um, so overall, a really well balanced team. Really, really good. Um, the only thing I don't know, I don't know what would you even say the Saints are missing. I'm not sure they're missing anything. Maybe maybe like a Quadzilla type threat, like like that number one guy that's going to cause a matchup problem. But overall, the Saints theme team is is just phenomenal right now. The problem is a lot of phenomenal teams and with overwhelming meta cards. And the thing is like also about these Buccaneers. So you're going to just look at the Buccaneers, and you're going to be like, what the heck? What the heck? This Rob Gronkowski, he can technically go on every team, but we're only kind of for the Bucks and the Pats, because that's what he played for. Buccaneers, great offensive line. Rob Gronkowski's a matchup nightmare. That guy's incredible. He's free for everybody, if you, if you do. Tom Brady, arguably best quarterback in the game. I like Tim Brown, Mike Evans. Uh, maybe Julio moves in the three slot. I don't know if you like Keyshawn. The biggest problem with the Buccaneers is running back is is not good. You can run a Vita Vea, I guess. Actually, Mike Allstead at fullback, put him at running back. That's actually not a bad idea instead. But I do like their defense just all around. You know, they got playmakers at most spots that can uh, hold up with the best cards in the game, especially with the theme team boosts. Pass rush, secondary, Buccaneers got mostly everything. So right here at number five, the 49ers. Might be a little higher if they would have won their game um, last Sunday, but uh, Kittle, good offensive line across the board. I mean, you could probably even put Burford. I don't know Trent Williams. Maybe move over to right tackle instead of Compton if you want to do that. But they got an embarrassment of riches at like look at compare this to like my theme team's offensive line. We got one guy in a bunch of like 80s and 70 or whatever. The only issue is like maybe Moss isn't that good anymore. That's a Thanksgiving card, and since it's February, a little long in the tooth. You got two quarterbacks, 96 overall to choose from. I don't know when Joe Montana, your running back, is is mad, but their defense, woo. Maybe I would put like Rod Woodson maybe at strong safety. You can use her Hafunga. Um, you can use her anybody, but the, the top three corners are out there with the best. They got Dion at four, embarrassment of riches. Kevin Green, great pass rusher. You could use your Warner or Romanowski. That's your choice. Um. Yeah, Niners. Really like them. Patriots at four. Patriots have an embarrassment of riches. I mean, maybe I don't know. Did I rank the Niners too high? Should I put the Niners down a couple spots, like right below the Saints? Maybe the Niners got two spots too high. That's something that I, I, I want to hear a debate on. Did I, did I get the Niners a couple spots too high? Um, I just really like their their CBs. Patriots. Good offensive line. More importantly, great greatness here. Especially with Byers at running back. And then defense. My goodness. I might use Duggar over there. I love it. Look at all, like my, maybe Mike Haynes at free safety. And then user Kyle. That's probably what I do. User Kyle, Mike Haynes, Ty Law. I mean, this is just wild 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 i really like that patriots team i don't think that there isn't like a hole there isn't a hole and you got an overwhelmingly good weapon tom brady too buyer i mean edelman like top three receiver in the game easy put cooks is good with, oh dude i don't know i don't even know guys oh i'd say packers are number three and now packers might get angry at me that may be like no they're number one number one and two are there for a very specific reason i'll just tell you in a second Packers, really good offensive line. Absolutely love it. And then they got, like, if you want to use him activated at Vanguard, literally a glitch when he's activated. Just flattens everybody. Cobb, Watson. I guess you can say MVS isn't that great, but they have Quadfather, which is a meta-warping card. Brunel, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. 
with his Slinger 1 release. Like, what more do you need? Big Dog and, and then Quad Father just went behind him. A defense? Embarrassment. Peppers, Hyde, Hendricks. Linebacker, they got they got Glitchkey. Reggie White with that free bull rush, right? Their DBs, Charles Woodson, Jair, Rasul Douglas played incredibly well for me when I had him. I don't know, he's just got that. Rasul just got that it's fa it factor for me. Incredibly well balanced with meta cards. Packers theme team, number three on my list. Number two. You'll notice the two that are here. I'm kind of future-proofing this, this list by a couple days. Because the Chiefs and Eagles are about to get a ton of cards, okay? So, I think you know what my number one is. The Eagles, even, even, dude, the Eagles, even without getting the Super Bowl cards, are still getting stacked. It's silly. Chiefs theme team. Love it. Offensive line. You can even throw, like, Tyreek Hill at left guard. Just pull him. He's so good at being pulled. Although you can't have Tyreek Hill wide receiver at that point. Like, one of the best receivers in the game. Juju's solid. Uh, Pacheco. MVS is okay. Mahomes. Maybe that's your weak spot is Mahomes. But look at the defense, dude. Sammy Knight. Justin Reed. Phenomenal. I don't know why they have two Tyron Matthews here, but... Then they got a pass rusher, Suggs. Derek Johnson's not a pass rusher, but he's a good linebacker. Dana, Jones. Their secondary has is, is got 94, Ty Law, Revis, and, and Ward. Incredible cards. And then Eagles. Like, dude, these both these teams are about to get a bunch of cards on Thursday. Like, look at the Eagles. Like, Eagles will be number one even without, even without those cards coming. This is silly. This is actually insane. Hurts. Might get like a 97. I mean, maybe they'll save him for like Super Bowl MVP potential. Maybe they won't give an upgrade. But yeah, after the Super Bowl, if he wins MVP, that's a 99 overall hurts. Defense. I mean, this is sickening. Eagles, you know, they've won a lot of games this year. They deserve these cards. But holy crud, is this theme team way better than all the other ones. Eagles, Chiefs, Packers, Patriots. So there's my list. I guess we can bring it over to the left side of the screen. Just wild. Just absolutely wild. So, there's there's the ranking this year. Want Raiders, Raiders. This is what happens when you don't win. Raiders. The only reason the Raiders are this low, though, to be fair, they have an incredible team, but their quarterback drags them down. Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. Wow, Eagles and Raiders reverse themselves, basically. Well, that's kind of funny. Uh, but overall, yeah, there you go. There's the theme team ranking. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.